So in this part of the video, I'm going to talk about how to prepare the samples and how to prepare uh, the magnetic beads basically to put them into your samples, incubating your samples with these magnetic beads and then finally putting them into the MMAG assay system for purification. So our magnetic beads basically comes in 25% as 25% slurry and you can just take these beads and make sure that they are resuspended well. Put them in a 50 ml tube. And then just use the PBS to wash them. The volume doesn't really matter. You just cap the tube. lift this this part of the rack and then just shake it so that to make sure that all the beads are resuspended and so that the ethanol actually is mixed with the PBS. Now you just move this part of the rack to the magnetic component here which is this is the magnetic part uh, magnetic rack and now you see that all the beads are actually attracted towards the magnet. Now you open this tube and you just dump all the liquid into the tray. Please make sure to remove all the liquid from the tube and you basically have to repeat all these steps three times to make sure that all the ethanol is removed. Now you just take this uh, part of the rack and move it to the non-magnetic component of this rack. Now you basically have to put equal amount of PBS into the magnetic into the tube, which actually has this, the same amount of uh, settle beads. So suppose it's one ml settle beads. So you just put one ml of PBS here to make it a 50% slurry. You just make sure that it is mixed. And once this is mixed, you basically are going to. add it to your samples. Now your samples are ready for incubation. So you just cap all the tubes. We have already added the magnetic beads to the other tubes. Sure they are nice and tight. You just put them on the on the shaker. And then you switch on the shaker. And make sure to adjust the speed so that you see that all the beads are being suspended properly and they are not settled. It's very important so that the entire culture is actually coming in contact with the magnetic beads. So now you see that all the beads are actually coming in contact with the magnetic beads. We have a spreadsheet calculator with the aid of which you can actually calculate the time that you will need at the time and the amount of beads that you will be requiring uh, for your cultures. Thank you.